you have an Android device and you like to connect a keyboard, maybe a mouse, maybe small ones, maybe large keyboard. Let me show you in this video. I'm gonna make it real easy for you. Check this video up. How are you doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box. What a great day again, no? It's always a great day to do something. For me, it's a great day to make videos. So, since it's a great day to make videos, today I'm gonna make your life easy. There are so many keyboards, as we see, we're sweeping the screens now. I love, I love that screen at the top. You gotta love it, then you can see everything. All right, you like my new design now? We're gonna start putting this um, into this video. Make it interesting. You know, we change it, we grow in, so we learn. Okay, so we got all these nice keyboards here and mouse, and you wanna connect it to an Android devices. As an example, I'm gonna be using a T95. What we they saying any uh, MSQ Pro, 80, X95, T95, no matter. They're all the same. You can try this in a smart TV, a Windows machine, Mac machine, and everything. But as an example, since the, since the channel, we talk about a lot of those media the boxes. Now, we're gonna do a media box, uh, one of these media boxes. But once again, it will be the same in any other device, will work the same thing. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna swap the screens. All right, so I'm gonna put in one screen now. You can see the display, what I'm actually gonna be testing, and you're gonna see actually where I'm gonna be grabbing from here. Okay, so we swap the screen, and let's try first keyboard, okay? So this is a nice keyboard, again, but in Amazon, I will put the link for this. It's a bundle. It's a bundle here, okay? With the mouse. And I already got connected here. Let me see if we can get this box a little closer to here so we can see what we got here. And I already got it right over here. The, the white one, can we see that there? Yeah, okay. The white is the one connected there. And let's give this a shot. And as we see here, we can move the mouse. Okay, you see my hand there moving and we can move my hand, no problems. Let's go to applications. And it's real nice. All my videos always, actually, this is a combination I use. Actually, this is a small keyboard, easy for me. Okay, and it works real good, no problem. If you're gonna search around, now again, if you got in a TV, and will be a little harder. This is good for a desk position, like we see the desk. Or if you had a small table and you live in room, that will maybe work. But it's a good thing. But let's search. Let's see if we can type with no problem. Let's open the browser and and let's search for media. And we have to turn it on. It's off. So comes on, and let's put it right. Let's swap there, let's put it right over there, and let's type, let's see, see? Oh, yeah, that's another thing too. You see when I press empty, you get the Q, you're gonna have that in all the devices, okay? In all the devices, for some, some reason, they got mapping the enter as a Q, and that's cross the board in any Android devices, okay? That is, it's the way they keep map with the remote control. So the way to do it in my case, I always do, we delete once, and then we just hit here. We move the mouse and I go with the green arrow and we should be able to search it, okay? So that is every time you are actually uh, try to press enter. Okay, that's across the board and it seems that works pretty good. Let's take this out for a minute. Okay, so now this is one. The next one, we're gonna move this into the side. We look on the screen. This is real nice. This one, we have the keyboard. Should let, uh, let's put it this way. It's a little small enough, but simple to type. And the other side, what we have here, we can move. So I'm gonna be in this USB already got connected to the side. It no needs to be pointed right at the box. Get the box is over here. I'm pointing to the ca I'm pointing to the camera, and we can see here. Okay, let me let me shut that off. 
if we can see here that we move no problem okay we see here and I want to go into um, let's see applications I press the center button this okay and we can travel into all this now we want to activate the mouse pretty simple we see here the mouse we activate the mouse and as we see here simple we go okay I'm gonna hit the browser press enter again go there and we can go here now and type see we're no problem okay it was pretty good we want to go back we press this ROC at home and we are into the main screen and this is pretty fast as you see it didn't need to point right to the box you can point it whatever you want okay it's not like the regular uh, keyboards the regular controller you need to point it out of the box this is USB okay 2.4 gigahertz so it's pretty cool so we put this into the side we're gonna unplug this out and we're gonna try this one okay so we try this one actually I have to put as you see I start putting colors into this I got so many of these devices then I go nuts so I got to color every device so I know where they are okay so we're gonna turn this one on and this one again uh, oh this one by the way is rechargeable you charge it with the USB connector comes with the cable and you charge it with the USB connector and any whatever you use your phone or whatever you want to charge it this is the same it has a charger right over here it uses the same kind turn it on it's sync already is green and let's look the screen for a minute and we see here we move the pad and it works pretty good but we can go right there then we hit right there see we, we hit the mouse we get the mouse here left I mean uh, right button left button okay and we have the skip key the skip key is going home so skip key get you but for me most of the time what I use I use this section here only to move around but it's handy when you want to go we go there oh, I started okay so again here see you see it no problem let's go to the mouse right there and if I'm gonna exit right there okay let's put this miss here and I'm just gonna try me crazy it's not gonna let me allow to do it or to exit I can exit here or I can press the skip key two times it should be able to get me uh, it's not no I will not do it yes it did okay so this is one way and what is this is nice if I want to type something I, again you know always use this barn here space and once again we can type now if I press enter here we get the letter Q again so you get that across the board like I said before with back key okay so the easy way to do it is you go on the green right there and you can search okay so this is another alternative real nice little different right so I'm just showing you do you decide what you good for you okay so put this aside now we got the big boys now we got the, this one by the way I did a review on it in open box as well let me go if you got uh, a point in the camera on the top so this one is real nice I did a, a full review on this but this night we can move all around this one will light up the key and this one we can, again we can use close the wall Windows Mac has a window key there so let's plug it in and let's turn it on I've thrown out a battery for the demo oh no okay it's good there's a blue light there it's pretty light you can charge it from the top and again you can move the screen here if we want a little faster we're going to press function key in here slow we want a little faster and that the speed I like again we are right there we can type this is feel nice to type again this is also the space bar okay again if we press enter we get the letter Q okay so remember that you always get up so the best way to do it or either we click search or we click right over there we can in this case we can yeah you see they turn the value on or off 
we can bring the value up, we can bring the value down. Let's go home, let's see if a home key it works. No, escape key should send me back to the main screen, right there. We can use the left button, right button, okay. We can even take a, a screenshot. The screenshot was, um, I think, F8, let me see. Screenshot was F8, no, F7, yes. We took a screenshot on it. So it was pretty good for that. Now the next one, it will be the last one. We'll leave this in the side. Bluetooth version. Now, the Bluetooth version, these only boxes, they has a Bluetooth. Okay, so this one, the Bluetooth version. Now, if you're gonna use the Bluetooth version, remember, this only works if you planning to work and use one of these boxes, and the box is not ready with the Bluetooth, this is not, you, that's not that you're gonna be choosing. This is the wrong one, okay? Because this dangle only works for Windows machine, Mac machine, or in a Uvanti machine, okay? So this is nice because this is like a Bluetooth dangle. So you can use this and connect whatever you want into it. This is an adapter. When you put this, it will actually take any device around. When you connect this in Windows, will it take any device? You search for this and you connect it. But this is only for Windows, uh, Mac, but the old Mac, they all have already uh, Bluetooth. But in case you have a machine they have no Bluetooth, that will be the call. Now, do not buy this if your device is an MSQ Pro. It has no Bluetooth. Why? Because it's not going to be able to detect it because there is no drivers for it. I guess it's not an easy way. I'm trying to figure out that. It's not an easy way to put a, uh, to try to load uh, the drivers into those MSQ Pro. It has to be ready. Like this machine is ready. How are we going to connect to this machine is ready? So, and I'm going to use this. We're going to go into the preference of the screen and we're going to go down and search for keyboards. I'm sorry, uh, I'll get to on what I'm talking about. We're going to search in Bluetooth devices. Okay, and I think already actually detected. Oh, that, oh no, that's my. Uh, so let's turn it on. Let's search on it, and we see it right there. You see here? It did find it right away. So we're gonna click on it, we're gonna pair, and pair with no problem. Look at the screen now, it's pair. We see this light up, everything light up. Now look at this. Nothing. Let's look. We see the signal. Now, cross the board, I went to some form and everybody asking this a question. Why it's not working? But I don't think it's, it's this controller. It has something to do with the box because I connect also, I have a Bluetooth keyboard, a Mac Bluetooth keyboard. It will connect and it will do exactly the same thing. Nothing happened. It's like dead. As you see there in the screen right now, nothing. So that's something I have in mind, okay? Make sure that I will say if you have one of these devices, so you want to connect, that's not going to work. Maybe it's just a software problem. I will just go and choose this one. This one works everywhere. You connect it and you guarantee it's going to work no matter what. You can grab it, you put it in the windows, you put it in your desktop, you put it in your computer, you put it in your smart TV, put it anywhere. This one's going to work all the time. This one will give you a problem. But if you have a Windows machine and you want something to connect Bluetooth, nice. The difference with this one, it has more function key. It feels the same, but not the same. It's just this one should work with this box. Now, this is the only box I got right now, the Bluetooth. So it's hard for me to say the problem is across the board. I see for this board, it's the problem. I'm not sure there will be a problem with all the boxes. I don't think so. But this box, no, like this one. All right, guys. So we do think. I hope this answered all your questions on the keyboard. There are more keyboards and more game pads and more of these things we can try. But this will give you an idea, whatever you want to choose. I will put the link in the video to all these little devices and you decide what is good for you. I'm not connected with none of these companies, which is all put it for my own packet, just to give you that demonstration. Since I'm buying more stuff, the idea is so yeah, now you know what to choose, depends what you have seen in the video. 
I want you to remind you if you're not part of Media Box ENT, make sure you subscribe to our other channel because we got a lot of cool stuff coming up every week. Okay, then make sure you give a time up, leave a comment, and share with your friends. I'll see you next time. This is Dario from Media Box ENT. Thank you.